Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. So I have a number of different things to do today and it's not just going to be a case of moving eggs about as it was in the previous episode. In fact, no egg moving at all, unless I'm actually selling the crates and that would only be if there's a great demand. Um, but as for the small cardboard boxes, yeah, no moving of those. First of all, what I'd like to do is just show you this, which has now been released on ModHub. I did use it in FS17, very close to the end, just before 19 was released, and I even mentioned that it would be nice if this was actually put into the game. It is a swivel loader, so this piece here can actually rotate 180 degrees, and uh, yeah, it's just a really handy machine. It is very expensive, though. That is the only disadvantage of it, and that is before you put any kind of uh, wheel modifications on. Got a beacon as well and the attachments, you can have three point linkage or standard. So yeah, the price can get quite high, but it is a very nice machine because I've used it on 17 and no doubt it is just as good, if not better, on 19. Sadly though, I can't afford that at the moment at least. I have this though. This thing is definitely in my price range, so that's why I got it. Hello dog. Food? Yep, food. And uh, yeah, you wanted to... Uh... You're busy, I see. Yeah, so actually what I'm doing is working towards my new tractor. This is the tractor that's going to be going next, and then the Ford will be going eventually to be replaced with the John Deere. But yeah, this one is the first one, because I've had it for quite a long time now. In fact, 17.6 hours in total, real time, which is quite a long time, to be honest, um, for an in-game tractor. That's when somebody's going to say, oh, what? why are you saying that? I've got like 80 hours on my tractor. Okay, maybe then. I do have to move these piles of grain and also put the pallets onto the trailer, so in fact, first of all, I'm going to get that done and out of the way. done. It's actually full. The trough is full so I have no more space for the rest of the bucket load. It's more than the bucket load. So as they consume the food I have even more to give them, which is actually a good thing even though it looks a bit messy. So yes, what I need to do is work in the field over there. I need to give it a quick application of fertilizer and then it will be time, hopefully, to do a big selling session of all of my produce. Hopefully straw, wool, and, well, like I said, possibly eggs, but probably not. Although straw has gone down again, oh, this is bad. <laughs> I have definitely had 250 before. I don't know if it's ever going to get to that again unless they have adjusted the pricing. I, I don't know. It did seem to be exceptionally good. So maybe 123 is something I should take. As for the wool, let's just see here. Yeah, declining. So maybe nothing to be sold today. It would be a real shame not to sell any straw. I, I really don't know what the best price is now. I'm, I was going by the £250 which I had earlier in the series, but if that has been changed to be nowhere near as good, then I could be waiting forever for a price which may never come. So that is difficult. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know if maybe 123 is good. It could be a very good price. Okay, so before I do anything else, let me just change these for some ugly tyres. There we go. And I'll go and get that fertilised. I could really do with putting the combine away as well, so I'll make that a priority. I'll do that after this. But with the good working width, this should only take a couple of minutes. It's actually a really tall crop. I probably should be spraying it instead. Fertiliser would just be for the earlier applications. Yeah, it's a very tall crop. Soybeans, in fact, it's going to be worth quite a bit, hopefully, this. Almost finished. So this is going to really boost the productivity of the field. I do also have field number 25, and I have decided that I might do something different with that field. Uh, something a bit more unique, because uh, it has had many crops on it, and it's getting a little bit tiring doing the same sort of thing on there. I do like to keep this series kind of fresh. So... There is actually a wide range of different things I could do. I could do logging, I could plant a load of trees. Uh, poplars, obviously I could put maize or corn, um, but yeah, I wasn't going to. Or it could be turned to grass and I could uh, 
just have a massive grass field. The only reason why, why I'd go against that is uh, purely because it is going to be quite difficult to bail on there since the field is on a hillside. I have already bailed straw and it went alright. I suppose I could actually use a square baler. So yeah, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> I have loads of possibilities. Um, even things which I haven't even thought of. So yeah, I, I don't know. I really don't know with that field. Hopefully something quite interesting, not just the usual wheat and barley. I think I've done that to death on there. It's been a very common crop, or any kind of cereal actually. Just avoid any kind of cereal in field 25. Uh, that's the wrong thing. There we go. Right, so yeah, like I mentioned before, selling the the products, probably not a good idea. I would really like to know if 123 is going to be the best price. I can imagine it would go a little bit higher, but I wouldn't have thought it would go back up to 250. If it does, I'd be surprised. Uh, it looks like it might have been modified. Watch this. It's scratting. It's almost a comedy act. It goes backwards before it goes forwards. It is because of the sheer amount of weight on the front. 3.3 tons. Okay, enough of that. Back to my Michelin tyres. There we go. Very nice. It's fallen off. Next up, I need to give the animals some water. I've just checked their fill level. And the horses are almost empty. So are the sheep. And in fact, the sheep do need some grass as well. So the best thing for that is actually to do a job where I have to create some hay bales and then give it to them. Although, thinking about it, that might not be a good idea because then the price is really bad for the job. I could just cut some of this grass, which I have here. But anyway, I have a full tanker, so if I traverse into there, I can at least top it up. I think they do take the majority of it, but that's alright, because then I have a pond just to the left of the paddock. Yep, that's taken quite a bit. Is that it? Okay, not quite as much as expected. On my way around, I will fill it up, just to demonstrate my pond. I'm trying not to drive straight into it. There we go. I do need to reverse back a bit though. For it to fill, there we go. And the sheep are going to take loads. Possibly even the entire tanker. The contents of the tanker at least, not the, the tanker. They're not going to eat the tanker, thankfully. And they just don't know what to do with those straw bales. I've got the time set to 120 in hope to see a difference in price. It can only go up though, really, because I, I can't believe it's going to go down. It's stuck at 123. That must be the best price. Right, they're taking a fair bit here. Nearly the whole thing. And like I said, the food is very low, if not empty. Okay, I have come to the conclusion that I'm going to mow some grass, give it to the sheep, then check the price of the straw. If it hasn't moved, I'm going to probably start to sell the, the straw. It might be a really bad idea, but I just don't know. Um, the thing which makes me wonder if it was even right in the first place is when I did the video about having £250 per 1,000 litres of straw, loads of people said, how did you get that price? As if it was short-lived, as if it was a a patch which was put in and then modified very quickly afterwards as if it was giving it as too much money I just don't know so yeah anyway that's set up that is ready to go I could get a front mower and just use that with that but again it's another expense and I probably should just stick with what I've got I do have plenty of grass just around here generally so let's get mowing if I can find my mower uh no, I've lost my... There it is, it's right there. Right, off we go. I've managed to get it out of there. In real life, that would have been very difficult, <laughs> fitting a machine at that angle. Anyway, yeah, I have this area to the... Uh, well, mostly to the right of the pond, but there is a tiny bit to the left. So I will unfold this here and start mowing. Not the oats, though. This is my pile of oats. Yeah, it's actually quite a big area. The amount of grass I can get off this should be quite good.
there we go that's not too bad so all I need to do now is row it up and pick it up luckily not too far to go with the carting just there so that's going to be a nice fast and easy job uh, to do while I'm waiting for the price to still change I wouldn't have thought it's changed I doubt it if it has done then well if it's gone up I will leave it to continue going up if it's gone down forget about it it's going up it is going up yes right okay so when that peaks I will accept that price and sell all of my straw I'm now very pleased that I didn't just rush it and sell it at the, the price it was at at one two three so that just goes to show that it's worth waiting it doesn't mean though that it's going to get back up to the price of 250 I highly doubt it I think that was exceptional anyway yeah here is my window get it rowed up very quickly before it goes dark in fact I want to finish this today I can do the selling of the straw tomorrow if necessary. And yeah, when I get a moment I need to move the combine harvester which is very happily just sat over there. It doesn't really matter that it's over there. It doesn't bother me but I know it will bother some viewers. Some viewers will get very mad with it being left in the field. Which is understandable really because it's quite messy doing that. Right, so off I go. See you in a minute. It's going dark. Let's get this finished off. Now I do have a lot of sheep, so the amount of grass they're going to take is probably going to be very high. But I would be surprised if they take all of this, because it does seem to have yielded quite well. The swaths seem to be a decent size. So I could just uh, well keep it in the loading wagon or go and sell the grass. It doesn't really matter if I sell it. In fact, it's probably better, um, because a full trough does last for quite some time. I think it's usually about six days. Okay, so there we go. Time to fold it up, and I will come back with the Ford tractor and the loading wagon. Here's a sneaky trick. Use the loading wagon to clear up the mess they've produced. Much faster than using a tractor with a front loader. Okay, so yep, loads more. I can barely see it. Loads to pick up. So I'll get it done, and... Yeah, I think the first load is going to be enough to fill the trough. finished and yeah the first load was all accepted except for 2,000 litres which is just a tiny amount of this so I'm going to keep it in here for the time being I might sell it very soon in the next couple of days it's going to start to rot it is only grass so yeah I'll probably just top up the trough and then sell the rest as for the straw bales though let's take a look at the price it's most likely going to change overnight so with a bit of luck it's going to keep getting better overnight and then in the morning I can go and start to sell some. Most of the selling will be in the next episode. I might just get things set up today and sell a couple of bales. So there we go, it's under cover, it's all good. The price is very slowly moving, but it is going up. 130, just changed. So yeah, I think with that rate I'm going to go to bed and see what it does. Uh, well, by the morning let's see what it's actually on. Hopefully it doesn't go down, that would be bad. So I'm going to go, yeah, 11 hours. Hope for the best. I really hope it increases dramatically. Okay, it was 130, it's now 167 and it's peaked. It has stopped, so let's pull that time down to real time. And I need to set up. So I'm going to get a different bail grab. Purely because of the way I've actually stacked these, it'll be much easier to use like a, a taller grab. What I'm going to need for this is the MX bale loader for the front loader, but I need the height extension. Uh, these are actually for, I believe, square bales. They might be for round bales, I'm not too sure, but I'm going to use them for round bales. 
We can have as many times as we desire. Three, four, or five. Okay, not as many as we desire, but still a good selection. Um, I think probably three is going to be fine. Can't see why it wouldn't be. So I'll buy that. And I might need the trailer, but because the bales are so close to the sell point, I might be able to get away with it. So if I just have this tractor with that really heavy weight on the back, I should, hopefully, be able to pick up quite a few. Because I don't think these bells are that heavy anyway, so we shouldn't have a big issue. The Ford is currently holding the weight. There we go. All dropped off. And since these bells here are on the way to the sell point, and on the way to the, the field full of bales, I'll probably come here in a minute and just pick up a load and take them over there first of all. Here it is. First time I've used it, it looks really good. It's available to download on ModHub. The download link should be below. Okay, so if I can just pick up a full load. That's the good thing about round bales. You don't have to be on a certain side. It's round, so it's all the same. Um, yeah, it's going to be... Oh no! I'm getting too excited here. Oh no. But actually, looking at that, I might be able to take all of that. Take six bales. If only I could... Yeah, reposition. That's good. No! Don't fall over. Please, do not fall over. Back to my classic failing with bales. That's good. Hopefully, that is going to work. So if I can do six, then I can do... Uh, that entire load over there, and probably just several loads. Keeping it generic by saying several. They're shifting. They were near as good as when I picked them up. Oh no, that wasn't supposed to happen. Well, let's see what they're worth. 668 each? Wow, that is a good price. Well, I have plenty more to go for. Oh, look, that car is pushing the bale. <laughs> Thank you. The first time the traffic has ever helped me. There was another. Where did the other bale go? That's £668 rolling down the road. Well, these are worth quite a bit. It is 668 isn't it, each? I'm sure it is. It is. I will get the other bale later. I really don't know if I can pick up four on each side to eight. If I can, or maybe I can get double. Maybe I can get 16. I think that is pushing it. I'm not going to try 16, but I will try eight. This could work. The potential is there. This is going to be quite a bit of money. Slow and steady. Ah, uh, that is... Wow, that was close. There we go. You can see they're splitting on their own. They're just all moving. Very good. Okay, so yes, I'll get the entire load here sold, since the price is so good. And then hopefully at the beginning of the next episode, I'll be able to sell the rest of the ones over at the yard, leaving just a few for the horses. So there we go, that is most of them here sold, except for these three. Hopefully I can just push this final one. 
Also, yeah, we're coming to the end of the video. I apologise for so many time lapses in this one. It had to be done, really. Otherwise, it would just be a load of jump cuts or me just rambling on forever. And it would have been deadly boring. So hopefully, it did make it a little bit more interesting, even if you're the kind of person who does skip time lapses. I know there are quite a few viewers who do. Um, but I quite enjoy watching time lapses, to be honest. I think it does uh, fill in the gaps, because otherwise, you are just jump cutting and you sort of miss bits and you don't really follow it as you maybe should do um, because yeah one minute I'm here saying I'm doing this the next minute I'm in another field doing something completely different uh, or I could start a field drilling it and then at, at the end I just sort of say well there we go it's done it'd be kind of boring so yeah I think time lapses are worth it anyway thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed it and until next time see you again soon bye for now